Hey, what's up guys? Good afternoon uh, from Budapest. Uh, this weekend I did absolutely nothing and I'm so glad I did. I feel a thousand times better. Uh, <clears throat> still a little stuffed up, still a little congested, but man, I feel amazing. I took two days off and did absolutely nothing. And uh, yeah, here we are back on the road. I'm taking a couple of days to uh, kind of get healthy again or at least give myself a, a decent health. Uh, give me the opportunity to get some work done and to kind of plan my trip a little better. And it seems like I'm heading back to Western Europe, even though I don't know if my bank account is going to be happy about that one. But as you guys can see, I'm out here looking a little bit scruffy. That's because I left my uh, detailer uh, back in Asia. So I'm going to go into the mall now to go buy a new one, as well as try to get me some uh, new sneakers. I had to throw in my old pair because they were just old and busted. So uh, yeah, let's check out some Bulgarian and shopping. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they're uh, coming here from Prague or they're coming here from Krakow or something is actually going to the wrong train station or just not knowing what train station they're going to. So it's very important to make sure that you know what uh, train station you're coming into, but there's really only two that you have to worry about. And this one is one of my favorites. It is really going under a, an amazing renovation. I totally forgot to tell you guys, I actually broke my headphones after like three years of my beats. I actually, I, I guess, um, what happened was they got tangled up when I was laying in bed watching a the movie. They got tangled up and I yanked the uh, the uh, the connector cord on an accident, but they're done. So I need to find me some super cheap headphones so I can get back to Asia to buy some new ones. Um, TVs. I swear. A couple of places like this makes me want to like buy a house just to get a big ass 4K TV. So uh, for guys who have beards and goatees, when traveling, uh, an essential is always a good trimmer. Um, I usually stick with Remington, Phillips, or Wall uh, because I know the brands very, very well. They always have really good products uh, that don't have to be kind of babied the entire time. Uh, what I'm looking for now is something that's uh, cordless and that has a guard so I can just trim, not full shape, but just a trim. Okay, that's just lazy. Looks like it's gonna be this one. I don't like all the fuck all the attachments though, man. It's just a bunch of stuff to lose. But you know, thirty-five dollars, not bad. Okay, twenty minutes looking at these things, and I look right past this one. Actually, perfect setup. Wall, I really, really trust. This is exactly what I need. Really good price too. That's about twenty-three U.S. I gotta double check that price. So you gotta get this little document, like an invoice, and take the thing and go pay at the cashier, instead of just taking the thing to the cashier. All right, a bit of a unboxing here for the wall travel shaver kit I just picked up. Let's see, typical. Right. This is really good. Comes in this little case. Center instructions to my new chat. Little, oh, I like this. You know, I like this because I usually use an old toothbrush to clean, so that's really good. It has the wall brush, uh, some nose hair trimmers, clippers. Actually, yeah, nose joints. Actually, normally buy this. Uh, this is for nose hair. If you ain't got nose hair now, you're young, you'll get it later. Trust me. And then you got this actual trimmer. Man, this thing looks tiny though. I don't know. Man, that's really small. Really small. It's like, fits my hand. All right, let's see how this thing works. So as you can see, I'm looking a little bit scruffy. Right here, a little long. So I usually like get really trim, 
And plus, I haven't shaved. The straighteners are shaved here because I haven't had anything to shave with. So, and uh, looking a little rough, but let's see what I can get. You see here it has these little numbers here. This lock fan guard. This is actually the first razor I've had that has this, where you can just uh, stick it between the numbers, and then it just locks itself in place like that. All right, so a little stiff, but we can get it. All right. So the cut went pretty well. It can't look. It's it's pretty pretty close and even all over. But the issue is like on here, you see like the little guard thing. Like now I can't use it as a detailer, like to get, you know, get right here, to get the edges, to get a, in the upper lip. So, because the little guard thing gets in the way. So I'm probably gonna actually have to buy a detailer anyway, but uh, overall, just for, to keep it kind of trim and neat, it's not bad. Hey guys, the the weather just turned a little quickly, so I'm uh, letting it clear up a little bit, and then I'm gonna uh, actually get back out there. But uh, it gave me an opportunity to sit down and actually plan the rest of my trip. So today is the 11th, and um, something kind of came up unexpectedly. So I'm supposed to be in Paris on the 25th to meet up with a friend. Now, uh, meeting up with friends while I travel is one of, is it's up there on a the priority list, right behind work. Um, and if I don't meet up with her, she's going to kill me because we've been trying to plan for like a year and a half, two years, like to try to meet up. Um, so it just so happens that she's coming in for some assignments in Europe. I'm here on assignment and I have the free, uh, the freedom to get over there. But my issue is, and there's the map. Take a look. So here's my issue. I am right now, where are we at? Where's my little cursor? Right there. We're in Budapest right now, right? And you guys remember that I'm traveling by rail. I am not traveling by flight. So I've got to get from Budapest uh, through Austria, right here, uh, through Austria. And I've got to go, there's a small country called Liechtenstein right here, which is going to be a new country for me, um, through Switzerland and then up to Paris. Now I'm debating if I want to go to Monaco. And the reason I'm debating if I want to go to Monaco is because you guys, as you guys know, I'm trying to go to every country in the world. And I'm uh, a good friend of mine recommended that I save one like epic country on each continent to be the last one. So I could throw a big party, have a big event, like a little shindig. In Europe, it was Monaco. That was my decision. But it looks like I won't be able to make it to Albania this trip. So I still, I still have to go to Cyprus, Malta, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg on this trip. So literally I have less than a month to go to five countries. Um, and since I can't go to Albania, I think I might go to Monaco. The biggest thing is I have two weeks to cover all of that ground, um, which is entirely doable, but I'm going to get bored. I know I'm going to get bored sitting around if I go if I go straight from Budapest to uh, Salzburg, Salzburg to Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein to Switzerland, Switzerland to uh, Monaco. Um, I know I'm going to get bored, uh, so I'm thinking about going to Milan as well. I think I'm going to go to the north of Italy, uh, go spend a couple of days there, then go to Monaco, maybe stop in Marseille, which I absolutely love, the south of France. The weather's going to be nice. Um, and then go up to Paris on the 25th. And you guys remember, I gotta be in Berlin on the 5th of November to take my train over to London for the conference. So I'm thinking about going to Paris, then go to Luxembourg. From Luxembourg, make my way around to Belgium, go to Amsterdam uh, for like two days, and then go from Amsterdam to Berlin uh, to party and get ready to go work in London. Uh, so needless to say, the next three weeks are going to be insane. I don't know. This is always going to be one of my favorite views of any, any church or cathedral in Europe. From this street right here. Beautiful. It's right on the street. Look at this. Now saying something is the best of the city is entirely subjective. But what I will say is the gelato I'm about to have is some of the best that I've ever had anywhere in the world. So it's gelato rosa, which is right here. And look, it's super easy to find. Right here is Basilica, right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And down here, hidden right there, is one of the best hotels in the city. Aria Budapest, gelato time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. Ooh, rose. So I like to walk around as you guys can see. And sometimes when you walk around, you find like some of the coolest little places. And this place I found like three years ago. And it's one of my favorite galleries anywhere in Europe. It's right here. Well, this is not. This is Mrs. Bagel. Or Miss Bagel. Miss, Miss Bagel. Right here on this corner. No mess. One. Stunning. Beautiful work. Throughout. So one of the things I really love about Luma's gallery is every time I come here, there's a new, uh, a new artist that they're featuring, a new style, uh, some kind of exhibition they're putting on. Everything here is for sale. And they also have this feature called the Loomis Masters. Where is it? Here. Some phenomenal work. This is uh, Miles Aldrich. If you guys don't know Miles Aldrich, you should. I'm gonna link them below in this video. And then some over here, the truck archives. Brilliant work. All the way around. So uh, the, the Loomis Masters, basically they work with uh, some specifically contracted photographers and artists. Uh, here mainly it's photographers. I've been coming here for maybe two years uh, buying a lot of this work here for clients. And it's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely must stop. It's, not, it's maybe two streets over from St. Stephen's uh, Basilica. It's a little messy because uh, uh, I was talking to the manager who I've known for a couple years now and she said they just got, this was their fall collection. Uh, last time I was here was actually summer and uh, they had a bunch of uh, mu musicians. That was the thing for the summer. And she's brilliant. She's a brilliant curator who really, really loves to uh, display the work of very young, very talented artists. It's really, really good to see somebody who has that kind of passion for photography as art. Hey guys, check this out. They got a little car, but uh, look. They got a parking ticket. <laughs> So this is Chain Bridge. I think it's the most beautiful bridge in the city. Uh, unfortunately, this time of year, it's just cold and windy, but the wind's not too bad today. Uh, right here is probably the best place to actually see the sunset in the city, right here. But unfortunately, I seriously hope this is temporary, and I think it is. It looks like it's for a movie or some kind of event. But right here is like a park. This entire area is wide open, and you have people just sitting there, uh, having a drink, having some wine, uh, dancing and singing. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. It's right here, and the sun sets over here. The sun goes down over here, and you get a beautiful silhouette over the chain bridge with the lions right here. Lions one, lion two, rush hour traffic, sucks for them. That's the Danube. Beautiful church here on the Buddha side. Absolutely love it. And one up here. They got a lot of beautiful churches here. And that will be Buddha Castle. Right there. Beautiful. And you keep walking a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, maybe more than a little bit. And over here, let this damn bus get out of my way. Uh, if you stop it for, ah, you bastard. Uh, I don't know. Coming a little closer. All right, right here. And you, ah, oh, you son of a. Uh, all right, guys, sorry, sorry. All right, my bad. That's the Four Seasons, amazing. And that is Citadel Hill, right there. Zoom in a bit, Ooh, right there. That's all the old fortress, There's trees. What's really been annoying me about this trip is I felt like I got here two weeks late to get ready for fall and get the photography done. 
but I'm actually like two weeks early. Like, it's so damn frustrated that I came here to photograph the transition to fall and everything is barely starting to change when I've only got like three weeks left. So this is the other side of Chain Bridge where you get all the stuff. Right here, you started with the Viking cruise ship, which is the old people cruises. I love you Viking, but you're for old people. And down here, you have a bunch of like clubs, bars, restaurants all the way down. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing the video to upload to YouTube today and I realized I didn't do a sign out. My bad, so sorry about that. Um, so uh, don't forget to comment below, tell me what you think. I am back on my feed. I promise I'm back on the road, moving around, uh, creating content for you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share if you're not subscribed. Uh, share with your friends. And uh, yeah, tonight I think I'm gonna go hear some jazz, a little bit of jazz. I won't be filming that because it's dark and I'm on an iPhone 6. Um, but I'm gonna go hear some jazz, have a couple of drinks and uh, just kind of kick it, just relax a little bit, enjoy the city. Um, tomorrow will be officially my last day. I've already booked uh, book travel. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back on the road, back healthy, feeling great. Uh, and thanks for being patient. So yeah, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share. And remember, leave the world better than you found it. I'll see you later.